hello YouTube this is in direct response to one of my previous videos where I talked about creating an album art using PowerPoint well this is kind of an upgrade because I will be dealing with Photoshop in this case but I'll try to keep it as simple as possible so that you can follow along so our main question today or our main motive is to create a CD cover that you can print out yourself and that fits all of the standard sized uh, CD covers. So what you can see right now on my screen is an empty template that I just created. There will be a link posted for the PSD file in the description below of this video itself. So do click on that and then you'll get the exact same file that I'm working on right now. Okay, so as you can see I've got two black squares on both sides just move this one is an image the other one says text and it is very important that you keep the same order of things so the image has to stay on this side the text has to stay on this side the reason being when you're going to print this out and when you're going to fold it basically if this is this is your image and this is your text when you're going to fold it it's going to become kind of a booklet more like a leaflet but it's folded so that's the folded thing that you're going to insert into the CD cover and that is why the order is important okay so as you can see over here these green lines these are your guide lines or your ruler lines or whatever you call it I, I, I just know them as green lines so that's that works so this image area I, I've got a folder going on right now this is CD cover and these are just some of the files that I'm working with this is the file CD cover blank template that I will be providing in the links below so and this is just a image that I chose for this tutorial just to show you kind of what I'm doing so the image has to be square of course I'm just going to resize that here there we go as you can see if I was to just do this right now if I'm free transforming the image because I have the green lines in place it snaps to it automatically and there so it just snaps automatically into the square giving you a clean look so there's the image and then on the text side I'm just going to keep a text it, it just simplifies this is where you would basically describe your album if you want to uh, you could post links to your social media Facebook Twitter whatever you want to do basically would show up under this section okay and now we're going to save this as go for PNG PNG is good it it basically gives you a very high quality when you are printing you can also save as uh, JPEG in maximum quality so that would be 12 for Photoshop and that would work as well okay I'm just going to put two over there because the first one already exists saving done all right so I have this image right now so that was the first part it's basically two steps the first one is creating your CD cover the second one is actually putting it in a word document now why I say word document is because I find personally that that's the easiest way to go when you're printing a CD cover so as you can see I've got an image already over here but we are going to start from scratch so I'm going to remove this and when you're going to open your document basically this is what it's going to look like this is what it's going to look like with normal margins and it's going to be in portrait so what you want to do first of all is to go into your orientation change it to landscape all right so that your album cover can your CD cover can basically come right across and then the next thing that you want to do is go to margins and then choose narrow that gives you more real estate to work with now the cover that you just made that you saved as PNG see the thing is when once you save directly from the PSD file over here the dimensions have already been taken care of so you don't have to crop anything you don't have to resize anything just save it as it is okay so this image right here all you need to do is drag and drop okay 
however however now this is important you need to click on the image picture tools format and then you see this the height and the width this is what you need to change because by default word is going to expand your image to fill the entire margin but that's not what you want because if you were to print this in exactly the way you see it right now it's going to be oversized so in the height what you want to do is you want to go 4.72 just care about the height don't worry about the width what happens is as soon as you change the height you see it resizes it it compresses it a tiny bit and now this image is ready for a print so as soon as you print this out basically you're going to have a perfect CD cover size let me show you what it looks like all right I am back with the printout this is what it looks like as you can see I have made border lines on the sides so that it's easier for you to cut all right so if you have cut it properly this is what you should be left with the border lines you cut across and then you have this and now you need to fold it okay be careful over here fold give it a nice crease on the side all right there we go okay now grab a CD cover whatever CD cover you're using this one is an old one so it's all scratched up but uh, it still works for our demo purposes you've got this image on the back side I mean the front so you want this to be over here so this this is how you would put it in basically these open ends need to go inwards so that they don't curl open you just slide it in there we go there we go See, that's a beautiful CD cover right there so you've got the image right here and then on the inside here's your text here's another one that I made this was a couple of years ago um, and this one was made in pure color as you can see this is what I made so it's a picture of me with my keyboards this is from the concert I did in Calgary and this is the image on the front side and then when you open it up you've got links to my social media over here and then you've also got sale of this DVD or its contents is strictly prohibited you can add whatever you want to I just liked the line at that time so I put it in and then you've got this fancy uh, piano guitar kind of a background going on so it just looks neat and clean in that case word of advice when you're printing out your cover art your CD cover I mean when you're printing this out make sure that when you choose your settings in the printer you do not select fit to page or you do not modify it in any way just print it as it is only then will you get a perfect square which beautifully fits into your CD cover all right so I hope this video was informative I hope that it has answered most of your questions regarding um, steps in making a CD cover in the easiest way possible and if you have any questions doubts concerns comments let me know in the comments below and I'll address them to the best of my abilities thank you so much see ya